Hi Kavita ji, welcome. Very good evening. Hi Pratibha, after a long time. Very good. Hi Rekha. You can even invite your friends also. Inform your friends to join. Very good evening. Okay, we will start in a couple of minutes. Add something special here. Stay tuned. Hi Padma. Good evening. Today as I told you it's going to be on a Dupatta and that to on a Kerala Mundu. Okay. Hi Satya, welcome. Hi Padma, good evening. Hi. Okay, now let us begin. A very good. Hi Leela, welcome. A very good evening to you all and welcome to Jayshri Narayanan Creations. Eight another live show and today we are going to do something special on the fabric. Uh, it's a dupatta. It's a different art form. Hand painted designer dupatta. Okay. Now before I start. Hi Kala. Good evening. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay. Uh, before I start. Uh, let me uh, wish Leela a very happy birthday and today is her birthday and one of our um, uh, well-wisher who joins me all the time in all the um, classes. Happy birthday to you Leela. Okay. And second thing, special mention to three persons. One is of course uh, even today also the fastest finger. It is Kavita Ji who has finished yesterday's work. Yesterday we had a session, right? So she has completed the work and even shared it to me also. So thank you so much for joining, creating and sharing Kavita Ji. Wish you good luck. And today also it is going to be something different. You can try either on a uh, dupatta or on a piece of fabric and share it also. Hi Lakshmi ma'am, good evening. And the other two are Sukanya from Bangalore, Radha from Chennai and Chandra Leka from Malaysia. So they have not completed the work but they have just started and have shared the um, whatever they have done. Okay. So special thanks to these four people and please do stay tuned for future sessions also. And thank you all so much for all the support to my channel extended. Thank you so much and we will begin the session. Welcome Leela. So today's session is going to be on a dupatta as I told you and okay the um, it is an Indian art form. It belongs to Rajasthan and we are going to do it on a Kerala Mundu on second. Go 
कोई बात नहीं कविता जी यू कैन बाय लेटर एंड क्रिएट आल्सो यू कैन डू इट ऑन अ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ फैब्रिक एंड एज यूजुअल यू कैन शेयर इट आल्सो बिकॉज़ यू आर द फास्टेस्ट फिंगर एंड यू कीप ट्राइंग द वेरी सेम डे ओके हैट्स ऑफ टू यू एंड दिस इज एन आर्ट फॉर्म फ्रॉम राजस्थान वी कॉल इट एज बिफोर इज डिस्क्लोज द नेम द कलर्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज आर ग्रीन दैट इज लाइट ग्रीन और यू कैन इवन यूज डार्क ग्रीन red and pearl metallic gold these three colors we are going to use and of course uh, black for the entire outlining that can be either done with the liner as i always do and i request all of you to do also otherwise paint and the brush okay so that black is optional you can either try with the liner if you are really good and you have the confidence of trying it out and making it a uh, masterpiece please do carry on otherwise just use the color pebble black color okay absolutely no issues only thing is the lines should be very neat and perfect and uniform hi sonali yes it will be available you can even view the earlier videos also thanks for joining okay so now let me come to the art form this is uh, and then of course the brushes all of us are loaded with so many brushes so many sizes flat and round brushes and the design sheet uh, here i have composed the pattern uh, i have taken uh, here and there from the net i have taken few uh, motifs and composed a uh, tilak shaped one this i'll be doing it and of course uh, two more other designs also i have painted on the dupatta the dupatta is ready and it is once again a uh, order piece so uh, before i dispatch it to the client i wanted to share it with you all the technique and what i have done on the dupatta also so that you can try at your end hi vasanthi good evening okay now the um, art form is usta U S T A. It is an art form from Bikaner, the northern part of Rajasthan, where the Bikaner artist they carry out this kind of work. They don't do it on fabric, but I have been trying all the art forms, both uh, both uh, Indian and international art forms, on the fabrics. So many I have completed. of course one by one i am teaching you i am sharing it in my youtube but in other uh, like uh, schools and colleges uh, i have already uh, done many art forms also on fabric okay so today's um, work is called usta art u s t a usta art and it belongs to rajasthan the northern part of rajasthan from bikaner okay and uh, actually they also even call it as nakashi N A K K K K A S K H I Nakashi. Nakashi is the work which means the gold emboss work. Okay, so they do a base work. The base could be either wood or on. Um, they they do it on um, like leather on leather also wood, marble, glass, wall, ceiling, and they do it on uh, camel leather also. so this embossed gold work which is called nakashi or the uh, term usta is very famous in rajasthan one such kind of work we are going to do it here we are not going to emboss the work the original work is an embossed form of work where they use the chalk powder and then the pure gold sheets and then the gum all those stuffs okay but here hi samyukta good evening here it is something different very simple easy and quick you can complete it you can complete a dupatta in just two days today's trend is more towards the hand painted uh, dress materials so you can try this art form on the dupatta or on any other cushion covers or on table mat or table runner etc 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 okay so especially they do it on the camel leather also a mention should be uh, done over here so that is something different where they emboss and fix the gold sheet you can try this work on plate 
like how they do it on marble plate of course marble plates are very very expensive you can try an ordinary plate and then metal container say for example any old metal uh, lota or any uh, cup or a container sort of you can try on that and then you can also try on wood base wood hi chitra good evening wood base is something like a mdf board you can try you, you have to give a base coat and you can try the same work on mdf board on mdf boxes trays all those stuffs okay any kind of wooden base and then like photo frames photo frames you can um, do it on sunbo cut the photo frame and then the corners along all the four corners you can try so this kind of work can be carried on any uh, i mean on any uh, substrates okay and uh, this are uh, non fabric uh, we are you going to use the enamel i mean we are going to use the uh, fabrical acrylic colors but originally in the uh, usta art they will be using the enamel paint okay and since we are doing it on uh, a fabric the colors will be of fabric colors so i am going to use the blue cap bottle colors and then of course the pearl metallic gold along with it okay now let us begin here i have hi suchita shweta welcome welcome good evening hi anand belli good evening hi pooja now i remember your name good evening thanks for joining Oh, that's a really uh, good compliment. Thank you so much, Anandwali. Stay connected always, and we will have lot of uh, fun with the colors, especially on the fabrics. So now I have transferred the colors on the palette: red, green, and pearl metallic gold. Red is crimson, green is light green, and pearl metallic gold. And of course, the brushes. And to trace the uh, picture, I need a pencil. because these dupattas are little transparent so you can place the design underneath and then straight away you can draw it with a pencil a simple motif i have taken today for the session just see these dupattas you get it in chennai in all the te leading textile shops i will just place it and show you So the art is called Usta. I have done it on uh, wooden box also. See, can you see the design clearly because of the transparency of the fabric? So like this, using a pencil, you can trace the design. Now the design is traced and kept ready. So we will do it on the uh, on a different fabric. That is once again uh, Kerala style of Mundu. Uh, fabric only okay and you can even try this kind of i have done it in my um, dupatta you can also do like this a big motif here and there okay this is a smaller one and this is a bigger one these are not uh, you don't find this kind of uh, patterns in the net but these small floral patterns and then the leaves the style of leaves they follow and then the attachments to cover or to um, uh, to compose the pattern main pattern all these stuffs i have taken from the net and i have composed my own design this is how i request every one of you to do so that you will really uh, come out with something exclusive instead of copying uh, regularly you can try out different patterns and that will be your exclusive designer uh, any doubt uh, okay now just a minute here is the design i have i have transferred the pattern on the dupatta using a pencil don't never use a pen ball pen or any pen or sketch pen or anything like that 
only the pencil should be used or else a carbon paper okay to transfer the design now have i focused it properly yes now the it is clear let me just um, zoom a little bit because as they somebody i think uh, samnitha was asking to zoom and now let me do it in the beginning itself no i'm not able to do i'm a little scared because no one to help me here uh, if i do something if the thing goes off means <laughs> so okay fine now here uh, as i told you you can either use the liner or the paint okay i always prefer to use the liner because i want to finish off very fast the outline work and take more time and concentration in filling the patches okay here what i will do is inside the uh, thing the main uh, tilak shape pattern there are small small uh, floral patterns and leaf all those things are uh, i have composed it over here so let me do these portions with the liner and finally after filling the colors let me try with the paint and the brush for the outer so two things i'm going to use here and it is just no shading it is just the simple filling technique okay so why i have chosen this is people should learn they should not have any fear or they should not have a, a what do you call the block uh, i oh, i can't do it on a fabric like no it is not like that fabric painting is so interesting and really uh, to in today's trend you can try on different variables okay now let me uh, first finish off the liner work in the center and then we will start the coloring this is going to be a very short session so we will do it just the inner portion alone i'm going to do any any comments hi radhika welcome good evening after a long time you have joined how are you make the lines very bold understand you can try with a paint also but here i am using only the liner only for the inner designs always try something different on different uh, base the design is symmetrical was so happy uh, to see kavita's uh, kavita ji's work yesterday by late night i think um, it was around 11 o'clock or uh, it was nearing 12 i think uh, she has posted her work i'm not sure I was so happy to see that even in the original style they normally have only floral patterns so now we have completed the uh, center patch
and restore. Now this is done. See, I have been using this liner uh, for so many projects. You won't believe I have used it for the 10 avatars which I had for the paid session. Then SDS work and today also I have been using it. Okay. So it's very, very economical and easier also to handle and uh, the work is uh, simply superb i should say okay now the black outline work is over for the outer i will do it later okay now we will start the coloring so for the coloring here we are going to use only two colors that is green and red this, these are the two colors which they use on a non-fabric base the same colors we are going to use here on the fabric but it is all fabric colors. You can use acrylic colors also but ironing is a must after 24 hours. Remember that. Okay. When you use the blue color um, capped bottles then there is no need for you to iron. You just leave it to the room temperature and then you can wash it after a week's time. So that you must always remember. Now here depending upon the fabric. You can either dilute it or you can just directly from the uh, container you can load the brush and paint on the fabric. So here this fabric is so fine and very beautiful and the color just slides through the surface. So I will add 1 is to 1 ratio of water or every now and then I will just add a drop of water, dilute it and then apply on the fabric. That also can be done. Oh thank you. Thank you for the compliments, uh, Kavita ji. Okay, now here, we will start from the um, inner. Let me just try, uh, start with the gold. And later with the main coloring. When you are applying the uh, gold color, please do not add water to it at all. It should be always used directly from the content. Absolutely no water should be added. Uh, light green. I am using light green Satya. The one which comes in the uh, 10 pack. 10 uh, shades pack. Just take gold color. Then whatever I have outlined here. Will be painted with gold first any other question Each motif will take hardly 10 to 15 minutes. That's it. Because you need to give some uh, drying time. That is why it is uh, delayed. Otherwise, if you have a set of frames, you can shift uh, the fabric and continue the frame and finish off the work quickly. Uh, design, uh, the same design, you don't get it in the net. But mix and match, you can do, Kavita. The design what I am doing in the net, I mean in the on the fabric, you don't get it. Net me nai milega, the same pattern. Lekin you can create your own uh, design. Even small kids, small kids in the sense uh, above 15 or even above 12, they can 12 plus, they can do this work. Because it is just simple filling, no shading required. It 
you can make wall panels you can do it on canvas sheet also here i'm concentrating on just a minute I'm doing it on the fabric because I have taken up the fabric projects so on different uh, fabrics and different utility article we are doing this is a dupatta yesterday we did coasters once again on fabric this dupatta has many patterns in it because this is like a more like a catalog which i carry to the colleges and uh, teach them so uh, on a small portion of the dupatta i am doing the pattern and i will show you the finished dupatta towards the end of the session but this is also a kerala mundu dupatta such a smooth fine quality one little expensive I have done lot of designs in this. Now, inside we have almost uh, completed. So I have not added water to the paint because it is pearl metallic. Pearl and pearl metallic. Please do not add water. Don't dilute it. Done. Now coming to the outer. Let me wash the brush. It has become little thicker, so I'm washing it and wiping it. For the outer also, the small ones which you have. Hi, Shanta. Welcome. These patches are also should be coloured with gold. Just take a little rough brush and then when you do it on the fabric especially the pearl and the pearl metallic colors it's better to use a sort of rough brush hi radhika welcome Okay, now the outer is also, we are going to complete. Done. And this time. It's more like a uh, one stroke application. Just a single petal, small size. Tilak shaped with the round brush you can do. Okay, now we have done the gold work. Uh, Radhika, I am teaching Pusta art on fabric. Okay, it belongs to Rajasthan. I repeat, it's from Bikaner. So normally done on non-fabric surface, but for a change, I am doing it on the fabric. Okay, just replicating the pattern and the color combination. This is done on the fabric. There they do the embossing effect and then gold fixing is done. But here it is not so. Instead of gold fixing, we use the gold color and the colors, the two colors which we use here are green and red. The same colors they use over there also. And black outline is a must. Okay, now we will start with the regular coloring. Now I am sure this would have dried a little bit. So let me just add a drop of water, dilute it. Because I told you this fabric is so fine that it doesn't blot at all. So 
Now let me wash it. Then to red also, I'll add a drop of water. Dilute it. Now here, when you do the coloring, you can decide like just it's little thicker. I have added one more drop. In case if you are doing more patches like this on the dupatta, then what you do is, for one you choose green for the inner portion and red for the outer. Then for some you can, the color can be vice versa also. So accordingly you decide, I when I show you the dupatta, you will find one half will be of same color combination, the other half will be of a uh, I mean the uh, different the inner and outer will be little different what you have inner here will be the outer for the other side okay now here I want green in the inner portion so I will just take green color you follow the black outline and then try to fill green in the inner portion of the motif. Cover the gaps without disturbing the black outline. This is also yet another uh, rough brush. So now easy for me to fill the gap without disturbing the black doing it on non fabric is really beautiful this kind of art such a beautiful art form You are Pallavi Vatsal, right? Good evening. I could learn a little bit of Hindi also. Am I correct? Very good evening. Just one half I will do. The same color combination should be repeated on the other side. Okay. Remember no shading. Because they, they use chalk powder and gum. To give an embossed effect first. And then they fix the gold on top. So they don't do much uh, this thing. Uh, what do you call the uh, shading. Anur Anandi Good evening, welcome uh, Yes, you can do 3D outliner towards the end also But uh, the thing is You should not disturb the gold paint uh, You have to be very very careful For me, what I prefer is when I use the liner, the, I mean the 3D outliner, especially the black, I do the liner work first and then start with the coloring. That is how I normally do and I am actually comfortable with that kind of uh, uh, technique. So one day I will finish off all the tracing, second day I will immediately I will start with the liner work so that even if I delay in my work also 
um, nothing happens because the liner work is there and the designs will not be uh, will not uh, get erased so there are plus points when you use the liner first and then the coloring followed and here this center gap should be fully with green whatever color or you can have red also here i am using only green even for the center patch done okay now let us start with the next color you can try give a try sonali it's all our wish and uh, according to our convenience no never the liner will not become sticky after finishing because we are touching the fabric and dragging the tube so these lines are as thin as possible you can just you, you can't even feel the liner work on the fabric okay if you lift the cone i mean the liner and drag the tube then definitely the liner will be a liner work will be sticky number 1 and sometime it gets peeled off also so to avoid that you have to touch the fabric i keep telling every time when i use the liner just slide it on the fabric by touching it okay just see the color combination especially on um this kind of half white fabric thank you anvi thank you i wish you all of you could try these art forms on your dresses <coughs> and enjoy just do the outline first and later what i will do is i will do all these outlines first and then i'll give it to my granddaughter i will ask her to fill the gaps if it is a single color so she can just sit and do the work she is good in the outlining also but normally if it is an order piece i don't give it to her do she demands but i don't now it is easy for us to fill the gaps this see the fabric one is to one ratio i have mixed the paint and the water such a soft uh, fabric this uh, dupatta is around 350 or 400 i don't remember long time back i got it so it's more like a catalog fabric i'll just show it closer you can have a look at it just see the look just see the colors how it stands out on the half white base exactly the same colors what they use in the um, usta art okay usta art is normally i repeat it is normally done on non fabric but here i am doing it on the fabric now you can just add little red contrast color for the center of the petal and here also on the gold also you can add little red here make a dot these enhancement and other creativity is entirely yours that's all for the center i'm not going to do anything for the outer okay only for the center i'm doing this kind of because we have the green background 
कैन वी डू दिस वर्क ऑन येस यू कैन डू इट ऑन पेसल शेड्स ऑल्सो कलर फैब्रिक ओके थैंक यू प्रतिभा थैंक यू थैंक यू सोनाली ओके नाउ आई हैव डन द लाइनर वर्क इन साइड विद द लाइनर द ब्लैक आउटलाइन विद द लाइनर नाउ वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज द सेम लाइनर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज फॉर द आउटर अंडरस्टैंड एंड फॉर दीज थिंग्स लेट मी यूज द पेंट एंड शो यू द डिफरेंस इज फॉर द आउटर मोस्ट हियर एंटायर आउटर डिजाइन आई वॉन्ट अ लिटिल थिक्कर ब्लैक कलरिंग ओके सो इंस्ट ऑफ लोडिंग द ब्रश विद ब्लैक एंड देन पेंटिंग इट ऑन द फैब्रिक वॉट आई विल डू इज आई विल जस्ट कट टू ओपन द नॉजल just see here you have you have a small portion here okay that can be cut so the dia will become little bigger of the nozzle and then you can make broad <coughs> broad and thick lines bold lines just cut it exactly okay and then just clear the that's it okay now let me try now let me try here and see yeah it is perfect that now for the outermost i have cut open the nozzle of the liner i want to make a thick line especially with the black so just see the difference between the lines inside and the one i'm going to do right now to the outer just see the thickness of the line understand it is uniform throughout right from the start till the end don't you feel so now inner to each and every gold you can do the black outline if you want to otherwise you can just leave it as it is now inner uh, in the center most i don't want broad lines just to enhance the picture i want broad lines uh, this thing only for the outer thank you ananda valley thank you okay now we will start with the coloring i mean the painting uh, black outline with the paint and here also i want broad lines especially the division see this thank you lakshmi ma'am okay fine now with the um, color let me just let me take the brush thin brush and black Just a minute. Let me just transfer. So the colors used over here are only two colors: green and uh, red, light green and crimson. I have used. Thank you, Shanta. Thank you. Now for the outlining of these gold patches on red. just as usual like a regular painting that's it only thing is the lines will be 
very very thin and painting i mean uh, uh, putting the line on the fabric i mean the, co the colored area uh, i prefer to do with the paint on the directly on the fabric it will be with the liner but on the colored patches i always do with the paint just use triple zero brush to get thin lines especially the boundary outline for these patterns even on the non fabric uh, substrates they give black outline done understood now let me just touch and see the black see it is dried completely the black outline which i have done is completely dried whereas these black still it is not okay so this black is dried completely this is a small motif i have shown you as a sample on the fabric the usta art understand using the two colors green and red and of course gold and black just with four colors you can create a beautiful designer dupatta with a lovely pattern of usta art in net you just uh, surf into the net and you find empty number of uh, uh, patterns you just pick and choose compose your own pattern and do it exclusive for yourself Okay, now I'll show you the finished dupatta. Any doubt in this? I will just go for a re uh, quick recap. Trace a design, preferably a lighter based fabric. So pastel shades are half white or a Kerala mundu dupatta like this. You can ch uh, choose. And this is a cotton one. Even on synthetic also you can do. Tussle also you can do. Fab, I mean uh, uh, pure patu also silk also you can do. so you can choose the fabric you can convert it uh, the uh, fabric can be uh, it can it can be a saree it can be a tops or it can be a blouse piece or it can be a uh, dupatta or your dress etc 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 okay so you choose the uh, design and then tra transfer the design on the fabric using a black card if it is a lighter fabric if it is a darker fabric then of course you have to either uh, use yellow carbon or black carbon because white carbon will not uh, um, i mean uh, black carbon will not work on the darker thing but on the lighter carbon it is black why i am i am asking you to use black is because black outline is a must so better to use the black carbon and trace out the design on the lighter fabric on the darker fabric on the other hand it should be Uh, with yellow or white depending upon the shades then start filling the colors it is direct application and again depending upon the fabric one is to one ratio or one is to two ratio you can mix the uh, colors keep it ready and apply uh, now here the, for this uh, particular motif i have given green color inside and white uh, red outside but you can interchange also for some pieces you can have red inside and green outside that is entirely left to us okay so like that you can decide and place the motifs on the dresses and continue the work and as far as possible try to have some running patterns either for the base or uh, suppose if you are going to place this in a small square or rectangular uh, uh, portion then try to have a running pattern okay that also can be done and uh, color combination is simple filling as i told you just first to begin with you can use for the entire motif black outliner 3d outliner and do the liner work first and then fill the colors or else you can color it first and then start outlining it with liner or with black paint understood 
so the color combination you can interchange also for few patches it will be green and red inner and outer for some it may be the vice versa also and gold is a must because gold fixing is the main process which they do it on the usta art especially on the non fabric uh, substrates but here we are using the pearl metallic paint no no the parrot here is uh, tanjo style of work which we had it for a college so this is the dem demo piece okay so this is how you have to do now i'll show you the uh, finished uh, dupatta let me clear the um, table first because i'm scared of the colors is an order piece so let me clear it first and for broad outline and bold ones you can cut open the nozzle don't forget to do that so you reserve one nozzle with a cut no i mean the tip the other one as it is so you can interchange the nozzle also for the same um, container just a sec so now we which outline of color we can use no 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 don't do it on black don't do it do it on lighter shades uh, preferably okay don't do it on black uh, background let it be on a light uh, lighter color like this or on any pastel shades if you do it on a darker base and filling the colors and giving a gold outline is not just like any other painting okay it will not look nice because the a black outline uh, for the entire stuff they do it so we are we are replicating replicating that and the colors also we are replicating so don't go for a gold outline or any other color outline please do not do that stick on to the lighter colored fabric so this is the uh, demo piece okay now i will show the dupatta to spread it out is little difficult so one portion i will show just see here we have the corners and then what i showed you one second what i showed you that particular motif i have done see i have i have two corners corner design then two big mango patterns paisley patterns and then uh, one uh, same thing but inverted one filling the gap and these two are green in the inner and here it is red in the inner and green outer okay then these are the two patterns which we have done uh, right now to the sides of this thank you kavik to the sides of this see we have done the i have done the uh, one is uh, green and red combination the other one on the other side is red and green combination understand even for the border also below the zari same color combination is carried out and here for the floral pattern i have filled gold and red and in between the gaps it is green understand i didn't want a red so i want a very small for a small patti i have given a red but for the other bigger gap i have given green and this corner design also fully this is the these outlines are fully with the liner i have not used the paint at all i i told you now i will do uh, i am comfortable with the liner so i have done it with the liner then the floral pattern all the stuffs here i have used since green i have given 
we are at the bottom <coughs> so i have taken red to the top understood thank you ananda belli thank you shanta thank you so much so this is the work of today's session usta art on uh, dupatta just see i'm not unfolding it to the maximum just see here okay this needs the completions i have to do thank you thank you so much thank you thank you sonali reka shanta anandavalli anandi indu and kavita please do try and share a piece okay thank you radhika thank you so much for joining and do create a piece for yourself especially for this onam you can create a piece on the uh, kerala mundu dupatta okay. just a minute thank you shweta thank you um, leela thank you so much so that's all for class today and uh, we will have very soon a different item uh, i wanted to do a clay work also dokra and then uh, see i don't normally this is in very old order and they since they have left for left abroad i just postponed it Uh, whenever i'm free i just started doing it and uh, finally i have completed ironing is uh, to be done and little bit of touch work here and there okay that's all i did not hi ashoda thank you so much thank you so please do try and share your comments those who have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe thank you and uh, may i know your name innovative aesthetic fashion thank you so much for joining thank you vasanthi do try a piece okay you can even uh, do it on cushion covers on all the four sides or from the center it is just like any other painting on the fabric only the colors you have to follow very carefully and the pattern Uh, you can choose from the net also you can just mix and match when you try that your piece will be an exclusive piece okay oh you are ramani thank you ramani thank you so much for joining yeah shanta it is u s t a usta uh, where do i One second. Let me come on. The light chair. Just write "us" the U.S. T. I've done it. I'm sure you would have enjoyed this session. Something different, interesting, easy, quick, and what not. don't think that you have to share your work only on dupattas do it on a small piece of fabric uh, just to remember and then convert it into a patchwork on the dress or you can try on cushion covers table runner table spread so it is uh, us ta usta style of work on fabric okay hope i am clear to you all see you all very soon with a different maybe in a day or two uh, with a different style of work one second how do i
Yes, I got it. You got it, Shanta? Because I'm not able to comment over here. Yeah. Yes, I got it. It is Usta style of work on fabric. Yes, I have typed it. Hi, Mini. Welcome. Closer view of the work. I'll show you the demo piece first, and then the, this is the work we have done today. So remember it is the Usta style of work. Understood. And this is done on the dupatta. We have the same pattern done uh, here and there throughout on the dupattas and then the running pattern with uh, big motifs in the center and running patterns also. Okay, fine. So, thank you all so much for joining. Stay tuned for future uh, sessions, especially live sessions. We'll be back again soon with a different item on fabric. Of course, with other uh, stuffs also like clay work and uh, tanju style, a different article I'm working on. We'll share that also to you very soon. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye. Thank you all.